Well, it's here. With everyone still trying to figure out what the future of the DCU will look like under James Gunn, it had long been believed The Flash would provide some kind of reset or answer to not only what the future holds, but the fate of the characters still connected to the Snyderverse as well. With DC still struggling, Gunn and everyone at Warner Brothers praised The Flash as a turning point. But with mixed reviews and an underperforming opening weekend, have we gotten another dud? Based on DC Comics' Flashpoint storyline and directed by Andy Muschietti, The Flash stars Ezra Miller returning as the titular character, despite the recent string of controversy surrounding the actor. Diving into Flash's origin story while also introducing DC's multiverse, thus creating new possibilities for the DCU moving forward, the film offers an actually compelling story of who Barry Allen is. The film highlights his motivations as a hero while creating solid character growth for him as well. Yeah, The Flash also heaps in plenty of nostalgia, featuring Michael Keaton's return as Batman and homages for the history of DC characters on film. Though, unlike other similar movies recently, The Flash offers a fun nostalgia trip without using nostalgia as a crutch. While one of the best films of 2021, Spider-Man No Way Home, falls flat as a film without its ties to the former franchises. The themes and story of The Flash, however, are centered solely on Barry's motivations and personal conflict. His relationships and emotional growth are what drive this story and the themes at play. The film could exist fine entirely without any references to DC's past, but this doesn't make them pointless. Instead, it uses them creatively to add to the story, offering nostalgia that acts as a cherry on top rather than a crutch. Surprisingly, The Flash is one of the best superhero films released since Endgame. No, it's not comparable to Endgame, nor the best I've ever seen, but it is close to the best we've gotten from the DCU. So why are the reviews so mixed? Well, it does have clunky dialogue at times, and Michael Shannon is still a horribly acted General Zod. Lest I forget the elephant in the room, there is also the massive problems with the film's visuals. Though admittedly, some of this I thought could have been intentional upon seeing the film something the director has since come forth and admitted. This said, even if intentional, the film still suffers from terrible visuals that are often more distracting than stylistic or humorous, which seems to have been Machete's intent. The Flash is at its core, however, a fun superhero story with heart, which is refreshing amongst the generic, woke, and pointless schlock Marvel has been peddling recently. Yes, it definitely has its share of problems, and while it does open possibilities for Gunn moving forward, it still doesn't offer any clarification on whether we are soon to see a clean reboot or strange hodgepodge of Snyderverse-era characters blended with rebooted characters, though my money is now on the latter. Even still, I was entertained the whole time, even during what I could only describe as an acid-induced attempt at derailing the whole film in its first 20 minutes. Hopefully Gunn takes what works here and learns from it. I give The Flash 3 out of 4 stars.